In Onshape, you can duplicate features to save yourself time and effort when creating geometry. One of the methods of duplicating features is the mirror command. Here I am in a part studio with a single part. To create a mirror, you can use this icon in the toolbar. I will click on it and it opens up the dialog box for it. There is a drop down list which allows you to choose what kind of mirror that you want to create part, feature, or face. Let's take a look at a feature mirror first. Here we have the collector for the features that we want to mirror. I will select a feature that I want. Let's select this extrude and then this fill it in the model. And you can also select out of the feature list. Then we have the collector for the mirror plane. You can click in there to give it focus. And I'm going to use this plane called front to mirror about. I will click on it. You can see a preview of the duplicated features. Then you can click the check mark in order to build them in the model. And here in the feature list, we have mirror one. Let's take a look at another example. I will once again click on the mirror command. And this time, instead of doing a feature mirror, let's take a look at a face mirror. And face mirror is convenient when you don't have explicit features that you want to pick, or maybe you've imported geometry, or you just want to select a whole bunch of different faces. One way of picking the faces that you want to mirror, besides picking them one by one, is by using this icon in order to create a selection. This opens up another dialog box, and you can choose faces or edges. We want to select faces. Then from the drop down list, you can choose whether you want to select faces by a protrusion, pocket, hole, fillets, tangent connected, or bounded faces. I will choose pocket, and then I will pick a surface. And based on that surface, it figures out what faces belong to that pocket, and it picked a total of 17. I will add that selection, and now all 17 are listed in the mirror dialog box. That's good, so I will close the create selection dialog box. Now let's click in the collector for the mirror plane. Once again, I will use the plane called front, and there you can see that we would get a, another pocket. If we had a protrusion or we were adding material, well, using the face mirror would do the same. It would end up adding material. I am happy with all of this, so I will hit the green check mark. And there we have our second mirror created. Now let's take a look at mirroring parts. So once again, I will click on the mirror command. And when we have part mirror selected, there are four different ways that we can mirror the part. We can create a new part. We can add geometry to the existing part. We can remove material, or we can create an intersect. So let me start out by, I'm going to remove material. And let me hide the plane called front. And this time, I'm going to use the plane called right. So let me show it on the screen to make it easier to select. And so for the entities that I want to mirror, I want to pick the part. You can select it out of the list on the left or just pick it in the screen. Now I will put focus on the mirror plane collector and I will select the plane called right. I could select it out of the feature list. And here you can see when we are removing material and mirroring, well, we're going to be left with the posts and the external thread and its fillet and the material for the pockets, but the pockets fill it in. So this is very interesting. I will hit the check mark so that we can see the end result. Let me go back to this mirror. I will right click on it and choose edit. Now let's take a look at what would happen if we used intersect with the same choices. And I will hit the check mark and this ended up removing the posts and the external thread and the fillet that was attached on the base. And we get a mirror of the part and we get a mirror of the different pockets. 
So I like that, but let's take a look at some of the other different options. I'm just going to delete the mirror command this time so you can see the original geometry. And this time I'm going to add material. Let's go to the mirror command and I will choose from part mirror the add option for the entities to mirror. Now let's pick the part out of the parts list and then let's give focus to the mirror plane collector. And for the mirror plane, you don't have to pick a plane like I've been doing. As a matter of fact, let me turn off the display of the plane called right. I'm going to pick this flat surface in the model. There you can see a preview, but there's another option that you have for selecting the plane that you want to mirror about. I will use the X to remove the face that I selected for the mirror plane. To the right of that collector, we have the ability to use a mate connector. So when I click on this, well, we can move the model around. You can see how it is previewing different mate connectors. And I will choose the mate connector from the middle of the face. And it did some thinking and then it figured out how to create this mirror. For the merge scope, it is merging the new geometry to part one. So I can hit the check mark. And here you can see a preview of what ends up getting created. And for the last example, I'm going to turn on the display of a plane so you can see what I can mirror about. Let's go to the mirror command and I will choose create a new part. Let's select our part once more. For the mirror plane, I will click in the little field to give it focus. Now let's click on mirror plane one. Here you can see a preview of the new part. If you take a look in the parts list, well, this is the new part that would end up being created. Let's hit the check mark. And now we have a new part that is made that is the mirror of the original part. So again, we have three different methods that we can use for mirroring. We can use features, faces, and parts. But what happens when we change a feature that we have mirrored? So for example, let me zoom in over here and let me pick on this fillet and then I will right mouse click so I can get to the menu and we have the option to edit this fillet. This fillet right now has a radius of four. Let me change it to a much smaller value. Let's, a, let's use a value of one. So it is tiny, we can barely see it. When I hit the check mark to complete editing the fillet, you'll notice that all the mirrors updated. So we have a dependency. If you make a change to what you mirrored, all the mirror geometry will update as well. So there you have it. That's how you can use the mirror command.